Okay, creating a text morph in Blender 2.5 and this will show you some of the cool new features that in 2.5 that really needed to be implemented to bring it up to um, standard with the other high-end 3D um, programs around. So what we'll do is shift A, add some text, hit 7 on the number pad and then tab and then we'll delete this and type in morph M-O-R-P-H and then bring it up in size hit the S key, bring it up in size and we shall hit the uh, if we hit the object data here uh, paragraph, we'll press center to center it and then what we will do is we need to bevel it so over here in this panel we've got bevel we'll hit uh, sorry I'll drag that up to say 3 make the resolution 10 and then make the extrusion or oh, something like 0 0.15 hit the 0 key Sorry, hit the zero key to bring it into the camera view and we'll just shift it across like so. I've just selected the camera, hit the G key and then moved it to get it across there. Hit the A key to deselect. Now this is the real cool thing with this uh, new feature in, uh, in Blender. If we go down to our timeline and we'll go right to zero. Okay, actually we'll we'll put it on twenty because we want to finish on this frame here. So uh, what we shall do is put the cursor over the width here. Hit the I key, turns yellow, and voila! Automatic keyframing of any of these parameters. Isn't that fantastic? Previously you couldn't do that and it's just it's a real boon now. Okay and then width what we'll do is we'll really sort of munt it. I think we'll go back the other way like so. Something like that should be fine. Hold the cursor over the top of it again. Hit the I key. Turns yellow and when we play it got this really interesting uh, morph situation and obviously you can keyframe the extrusion or the depth or the resolution or the character spacing uh, so have fun with it <laughs> 